I just joined the workshop for the Grasshopper uh, using a plugin called Crane, which is the origami plugin, in order to create a folding furniture using a method called form finding. And this plugin called Crane lets you able to create the folding simulations, origami simulations, as well as finding the best uh, shapes in order to create it as a real fabricated object. So the workshop was to create, first to create digital geometry inside Grasshopper, using Grasshopper uh, with the uh, folding simulations. Then uh, we have outputted the data for the laser cutting. Then finally we made a real project. We'll out of the out of the design we have made so this is the one that i did in the workshop uh you trying to create some twisted stool uh, by creating the outline first the boundary of the chair first the boundary means the folding boundary first in order to define the basic uh, folding pattern, folding, um, yeah, pattern, uh, using the mountain folding lines as well as the valley folding lines. So in order to cr use the crane solver, uh, you need to specify first, you need to create a geometry called C mesh, which is the special type used in crane, uh, by providing the boundary of the shape. So in this case, um, it's the uh, exterior outline of the whole uh, template, cutting template. <coughs> and also you have to define which line should be used for a mountain folding and which line should be used for a valley folding. And in this case, I have set the diagonal lines as the valley folding and other lines, other interior lines as mountain folding in order to create a simple twisted chair. Now I have also set the section or the plan of the stool to be square right now, but I am going to change it later on, I think, into, I have, uh, I am creating the definition as a parametric um, definition so that I can change the currently it's uh, used as squares but I can later on change it as like pentagon or hexagon. So I have just now used the crane solver to simulate the basic folding and it seems like it's working well but in order to create a shape as a chair, I need to specify some constraints uh, <clears throat> such as the bottom point should be uh, placed on the ground and some of the point should be connected together, uh, glued together in order to create a closed uh, looped geometry. And also, you might need you might also need to specify the planarity of uh, some faces, like the top face, because you want to sit on it. So there are several constraint component in order to create that kind of um, constraints. The first constraint I'm trying to create here is a glue vertices constraints in order to uh, stick several vertices together so that you can create, in this case, you can create a wrapped geometry by connecting all those um, um, separated points together in order to create a geometry, you know, to create a three-dimensional geometry. In this case, a twisted stool. Right. Okay, so I'm trying to get the vertices in the vertice indexes by deconstructing the C mesh into a mesh and also getting the 
prepare text information and use close point component in order to get the uh, indices and use glue vertices in order to get that attached. Now, this is kind of a result right now. When you apply the constraints, uh, as you can see, it looks a bit uh, squashed. Uh, that is because I need some more constraints, some more glue constraints, I think. So let's add more of these. And some of the important component, some of the important uh, constraints that you also need to add is a, in order to create a symmetrical geometry is a equal edge constraint by by providing the edge number you can constrain the length of each edges so that they become the same length and what I have just done is to create a ground constraint so that the bottom point will always stand on the ground all right <clears throat> now I am trying to create I think I'm trying to create the other uh, glue points glue um, constraints so that the bottom point will also be closed to create a wrapped geometry. All right, and merge it together and provide it any constraints. In order to do a form finding, uh, you first need to turn on the solver and the rigid mode on, then do a falling simulations at some point, and, and then you turn on the uh, you turn off the rigid mode then apply the constraints so that you can find the best shapes which matches all the constraints forces so that's how you can uh, use uh, you can do the form finding simulations form finding simulations using this crane uh, plugins and the next constraint that I'm trying to create here is the same edge length, equal edge lengths constraints so that to keep uh, specific edges lengths together to create some kind of um, symmetrical geometry. So in this case, I'm trying to set the valley folding edges lengths together, mountain folding edges lengths together also the top square um, edges lengths to be get together. And I'm currently moving the points by setting the rigid mode on with the alt drag, alt key plus drag at, with the rigid mode on so that I can move it without changing the basic shape by preserving the face shape then after moving those point at uh, at some point where it looks like a twisting rigid uh, twisting stool, I'm turning on the constraints as well as turning off the rigid mode. Then you can find out the best uh, forms um, which satisfies all the constraints that I've just set, such as setting the bottom points on the ground, setting the edge lengths it's the same, and then glue the some vertices together to create a wrap geometry. Then as a result you will get the best solution geometry which um create uh, which satisfy all these constraints. And there's also a constraint called Developable constraints, which let you create a a unfoldable geometry, which means you can unfold the final created geometry as like a paper template, so that you can send it for laser cutting. 
Okay, so I'm all trying here to move up the geometry. So I have just turned off the rigid body, uh, rigid mode off, and just turn on the constraints. As you can see, the geometry is preserved. The geometry's uh, proportion is preserved with the constraints that I've set like this. And I, uh, I am missing some of the constraints because it seems like the top squares and the bottom squares are become diagonal, uh, become more rhombic geometry. So I'm all, uh, next uh, things I'm going to do here is to create another constraint so that in order to preserve the rigidity of the sum of the faces in this case the top face and the bottom face by creating a line then use uh, create another equal edge constraints to preserve the edge of some points together alright yeah this polygon is really fun especially when when it gets to do the form finding part and after you have done after you have created all the geometries after you have find it the best geometry that you want to fabricate then you there are some fabrication fa fabrication related component as well included in this crane so you can directly create some um, laser cutting temp uh, laser cutting geometry or like 3d printing geometry right uh, right after you have just created the geometry and I'm going to show you how to do that as well okay I'm trying to create the constraints in order to preserve the top face and bottom face and as you can see I've changed the top polygon to pentagon so that it will be a bit more interesting alright now I am currently I it seems like I'm missing the top part is missing from the simulations and I think I am missing one um, glue vertices constraints here so I need to fix that okay in order to do that right now as you can see um, there is a component or uh, in orange which seems to gives you an error so I need I think I need to fix that part okay All right. <clears throat> so I am trying to move those vertices to a specific position, then turn on the constraint. Now I am missing one glue um, constraint, as you can see here. That is, but I am. I uh, it seems like I be able I am able to constrain the rigidity of the plane. I just need one more glue constraints, which is here. All right, let's turn it on. Let's add one more glue constraints here. Uh, all right, then move the points just a bit so that when I turn on the constraints, it the all those constraints will create the best matched form like this all right now I can try to change the top part um, top part and bottom part sizes I can also create control try to control the twistiness by moving those vertices with alt drag alt plus drag now if I'm okay with this geometry I can then try to create a unfolding pattern now I'm 
in this case I'm going to use a laser cut so I'm going to use the, this joint creation component and try to visualize it in 3D if it looks good now it looks a bit wrong so I might need to tweak a little bit of uh, parameters here right. maybe they are t bit too twisted maybe the angle is too uh, strong I might need to make the angle a bit more narrow so I'm going to drag the points to control the to find out the best twisted position in order to create the 3D geometry, 3D um, solid, uh, rigid plane to actually be able to create a, a laser cutting template. Now this looks better I think. Let's try to see the geometry with the uh, joints. Okay, this looks good. This looks promising. I think this can be used for the template. Alright, the size is also good. Now, I think I can just extract this. Um, extract the curve from this template, from this uh, B-Rep geometry that I've created in order to send it for a laser cut. Alright, so let's do that. I have just baked the geometry. Now let's explode this and mm, maybe I'll do it parametrically. I'll use the explode component, the construct B rep component, and just get the bottom part, the part that is on the ground, then convert it as a curve. Now I can send this to a laser cut. Nice. I might not need the I might not need to separate those pen, uh, pentagon as triangles. I'm going to combine together We're using the curve region, curve boolean. All right. Now I am offsetting the curve here manually uh, in order to send it for a laser cut, but I actually didn't need it to do that um, since the templates exported from the um, Grasshopper can directly be used uh, as it is in order to create a folding geometry, folding geometry in physical. So, yeah, you can just uh, export it as a DXF. Right? And the actual um, laser cutted project actually worked really well. I actually did create it, the geometry like this uh, currently in 3D, but uh, it worked great on 3D object as well. The plugin was really awesome. You should really try that if you're looking for the form finding uh, solutions for origami folding stuff.